And then the last ones that we're going to do come down, but they're going to be a bit thicker down the bottom. So see how one, two, three. And then the last one, we might do a sort of a circle shape which comes back in towards each other. So one, two, and some little, little circles on his back here just to give him a bit of detail, a bit of black with my brown, just so that the colour's a bit different because if it's too similar, then there's not going to be any contrast at all. I do want him to be camouflaged, but I don't want him to be too camouflaged. I want him to stand out for my artwork a little bit. Wow. So you just need to think of... I might even add just uh, the edge of a rock here, make it nice and rough to show that it's a rock. So now what I'll do is I'll paint this side brown and then under here I'll show that it's a rock. So now what I'll do is I'll paint this side brown and then under here I'll paint it yellow to show that this perhaps is the sand underneath the rock. There we are, there's my artwork of my crab sitting on a rock. That's so good. Esther, can you go back to where you were? Back, because she's still painting. And Peter's doing it completely different, huh? You're doing it your own way. I'm doing it different. You are? Oh my gosh, wow. Where's what your crab? <laughs> Where's your crab? It's He's in there. I saw him earlier. I saw him earlier. There we are. There's my artwork of my crab sitting on a 